Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be showing you guys my big voluminous curly hair routine. Um, in this routine, I show you how to get really, really big hair but still keeping it really nice and defined. So if you would like to see more, then just keep on watching. And then also if you would like to see any of my future videos that I have planned, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also go ahead and follow all my social media accounts down below in the description box in here on the screen. And yeah, I'm not going to waste no more time. I'm going to just jump right into the video. So if you want to see how I got these results, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so I just got out the shower. Uh, this is what my hair looks like after it's been shampooed and conditioned. To go ahead and shampoo my hair before we get started, um, I shampooed and conditioned with these two things. First, um, well first when I'm in the shower, I like to detangle my hair first and condition my hair first before I shampoo it. And the reason that I like to do that is because I find that my hair can break really easily if I just shampoo it straight off because it's just going from dry to even drier because I'm just putting shampoo on it and taking out all of the oils that um, are in my hair. So I like to go ahead and detangle first. And to detangle, I use this conditioner here. Um, if it's gonna focus. So this is the charcoal um, clarifying conditioner or wait, purifying conditioner. Um, you can get it for like $8 at Ulta or Target, um, Walmart, but I always just get it from Ulta. And it is the best. It detangles like a dream. It's one of those conditioners where you just put it in your hair and your hair will just like melt. So to shampoo it, my hair, for this wash and go, I used the Shea Moisture Low Porosity Protein Free Shampoo. And this is what it looks like. Um, the shampoo is, it's pretty good. Um, it is pretty drying. So if you're more into a shampoo that's going to cleanse your hair but still keep it feeling moisturized, I wouldn't say that this is the one for you. This like really, really cleanses my hair. So I'm gonna just start off by now continuing my routine and I'm going to go ahead and deep condition my hair so to start off I'm going to use a little spray bottle these things are awesome um, they just spray out like a fine mist and I love these I use this probably just about every single day to be completely honest to wet my hair and this one is from I believe their Instagram is Curly Girl Vibes. They sent this to me. It's really, really cute. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and start off by wetting the whole thing uh, again because it got dry. And it's starting to dry on me. Okay, now that my hair is wet enough, I'm going to go ahead and just apply my deep conditioner. So the deep conditioner that I use, I love this deep conditioner and I've been having it for like quite a while now, but I never used it because it is the Sultanicals Fro Shade UV Deep Defense Mask with Sunflower Seed Oil and Seaweed. This mask, you guys. I don't know what I would be doing without this mask right now. This mask is like perfect for me in the summertime because I've been out in the sun literally every single day and it's been like 90 degrees. I think right now outside it's about 100 degrees and I've been in the pool and my hair has just been out and exposed to all the heat and all the chlorine and everything. So this UV mask has been just like the best thing for my hair. Um, it has amazing ingredients. It has distilled water, botanically infused with sage and clothes foot. Like, what? Like, that's fancy. Okay, and then it has organic aloe juice, um, vegetable glycerin, sesame seed oil, avocado oil, hydrolyzed rice protein, guar gum. 
I don't know if I said that right. I'm gonna just go ahead and take um, about this much so far and just put that onto one section. So I'm just starting at the ends first because that's the part of my hair that really needs it the most. My ends are just really, really dry. So they need all of the love and attention. I'm gonna take a little bit more and put it on the front of my hair. And then just focus it at the top of my hair now, the roots. And then a little bit more at the ends. I'm then going to go ahead and just do the same exact thing to the other side. And now, um, I like to braid it so that way, um, I feel like when I braid my hair, the deep conditioner penetrates better into my hair strands personally. I find that if I just leave my hair like out and down and exposed, I feel like it doesn't really do much as, uh, I feel like it just doesn't really do much. I feel like it'll more so just sit on my hair and my hair will kind of stay like really dry. Um, that's just kind of like what I noticed or if I put my hair just into like a low bun, I feel like it won't really do anything. So I like to just do two braids for each section. So then I go ahead and I take these two things, I'll go ahead and put on a shower cap over my head and then I'll put on this. This is, I'll put this on sometimes only if I want um, like a more, like if I have time to do this then I'll do it. Uh, this will give you a legit deep conditioning session. Like this will really, really make your whole deep conditioning level, wait, what, what am I trying to say? This is called a thermal hair cap. Um, and I'm pretty sure their Instagram is like thermal hair care or something like that I'll have all the links to everything that I'm using down in the bio if you guys are interested So this is my hair after I rinsed out the deep conditioner It is super soft and shiny and it just has so much moisture my hair feels Like so much better now. So Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and just get started with the styling products So I'm again going to just re-wet all of my hair and for when I like to style my hair, I like to have my hair like dripping wet. This is how I like to style my hair. Um, and the products that I use, I find work way better with soaking wet hair. So yeah, that's what I'm just gonna go ahead and do really, really quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a leave-in first. And the leave-in that I love to use is the Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in. It uh, has so much slip in it, and it just leaves my hair feeling so soft. Um, so I'm going to take about this much. It's literally running out, so I'm just going to take this much. I don't like to apply a lot of it because when I'm styling my hair, I find that less product is best for me and my hair because I like to get very, very big and voluminous curls so the more product that I put the more way down my hair will be and I don't like way down here so I just apply a little bit of product and I apply it mostly to the ends the leave-in because my ends are what need to stay moisturized the most I try not to put a lot of product at my root because um, the more product I put on my roots the more my hair again will be way down and then my next product is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. This gel is honestly one of the best gels that I use. It is one of my favorite gels. Um, it just makes my hair get so big, but yet keeps it still so defined. So I can get so much volume with this and still have definition, which I love because usually sometimes when you use products, sometimes you'll have to sacrifice definition for volume. And with this, I don't have to do that. I can still get good definition and still get tons of volume with this. So with this product, I literally take, I'm going to take less than a pump. I 
I'm then going to go ahead and just add a little bit more of the gel. Literally, again, not even a full pump. Just about another nickel size amount. And I'm going to put this onto my hair. Again, and upside down. And just rake. Okay, so this last product that I use on my hair is called the Ovation Volume Enhancer. Um, it is a styling spray that thickens, shines, and softens your hair. Um, the directions say this lightweight spray promotes volume, bounce, and shine. So pretty much what I do is I just spray this all throughout my hair and it just adds volume to my hair and it just makes it so voluminous and it just really, really, really works. And now I'm just going to go ahead and diffuse my hair. I always diffuse my hair. Diffusing my hair is just what gives me so much volume and it allows my hair to dry super, super quick. Um, I always, always, always diffuse. I hate air drying my hair. Air drying my hair, it never comes out right. It always comes out looking crusty and nasty. And so, yeah, I'm gonna come back to you when my hair is done being diffused. Okay guys, so this is my hair after it has been diffused. Um, I feel like it came out really, really good. It came out pretty big for day one. And as the days go by, it's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, but if you want, you can go ahead and take a hair pick and pick it out as well, which I'm gonna go ahead and do because the bigger the better. Do you guys wanna see more from me? Then please just subscribe and follow all my social media accounts down below in the description box as well as here on the screen. Um, I can't wait to see you guys again in my next video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.